victories, including 22 knockouts, only three defeats from the land down under victories, including 18 knockouts, only one defeat with one bout even. From Gilroy, California. Up, the Guerrero can shock you. Several months ago against the aging and diminished better fighter, Vicente Escobedo, with much better skills, he came out and applied pressure and basically hasn't found a way in or isn't ready. Good, quick right hook by Guerrero. Uppercut, left hand, Guerrero. Looks like a welterweight. Good, quick right hook. Hit through the last three years. As distracted as he was. Watch this, and now. Guerrero. I don't think there's any question Guerrero's glove touched Watch the canvas. Guerrero on the. So both fighters have had moments now. Although Katsidis, who might have gotten a two-point round here, probably isn't going to get it. Oh, here we go. A little bit obscured by the ref, kind of cuffed behind the ear and then sort of pushed with the right hand. I guess it could go. Let go. Hands free. Katsidis is finding a way to get in now, basically just diving in. And How long will Katsidis' skin hold up? When are the cuts going to begin? Oh, oh. Trading shots in the center of the ring. What a fight. This kind of fighter Katsidis is. Look at this uppercut he absorbs. Boom, right on the button. Still lands the left hand. And is ready for tonight, Jim. That's the punch that keeps, that keeps Katsidis honest and does that. Oh. Katsidis may think he's got it right where he wants him now. If he can land the big right hand in return, but Guerrero believes he's got a chance to finish it right here. Well, this is where Katsidis is most like Arturo Gatti. He looks like he's about to get knocked out, and then it's a fight. Guerrero is punished clean. The sense that he's wobbling and about to go, and then his ability. Here's the punch, I believe, that's controlled this fight for Guerrero even more than the jab. It's that perfect straight left down the middle thrown with leverage as a taller man that's kept Katsidis from giving Guerrero the bums rush and there got Katsidis into deep trouble. Here's the follow-up from Guerrero, the long right hook. The good one-twos up the middle. Uppercuts, hook. Carlos Manzón, who had 14 consecutive successful title defenses in the middleweight division. Average thrown and landed through six and never quits and has great self-belief. I mean, you can see that Katsidis still believes that he's right there. Retain the discipline and the fortitude. And here's how the cut occurs. Aha, uh -huh. clash of heads. Seat his head with the bat with his right hand. Get him up, and get him hit up, guys. The cut opened by the get headbutt with the left. Now you heard Brendan Smith saying to Michael Katsidis, forget the head. It's quite possible that he has mentioned it to him earlier Get in the fight, up, but I'm not aware of it. And there's another very close to low blow by Katsidis. But on the other hand, he's getting in some good shots right around the ribcage. And he certainly is focused there and there Stop. alone. Stop. Time. The next low blow violation would produce a disqualification. And that really helps Guerrero because those body shots seem to be very effective. Although Katsidis doesn't seem dissuaded from going back. Katsidis manages to back Guerrero up to the ropes. Fantastic work from Katsidis. That's a low blow. That, that was right a low blow, and Russell Mora is saying once again to Katsidis. Oh, great uppercut. Guerrero wants to try to finish again, but Katsidis is barely stunned by the uppercut and keeps throwing. Great left hand down the middle by Guerrero. Landing at will again, as he did in several sections earlier in the fight. Everyone else's. Virtually all fighters will tell you that their training camp is the toughest. But it's Kats Now here's the uppercut, Max. And this is why I say Katsidis is crazy. I mean, who takes these kind of sh I don't know what the difference is. And incidentally, Guerrero's belly button is not showing. We mentioned that before. Lands on the he gets hit in ways and hurt in ways that you think the fight's about to end. And then a few minutes later... Cautionary. I'll take their word for it. I'm sitting at ringside. What a performance by Guerrero. Somewhat misleading because of the ease with which you can hit this target, but this is the best offensive fight of Robert Guerrero's. Guerrero's going back and really snapping Katsidis' neck back. 
And Katsidis has proven a worthy measuring stick for both. Arguably the greatest featherweight of this last golden featherweight era. Was that Guerrero was looking at him and getting ready to hit him 400 times plus in the fight. Rubber. The goal. He wasn't the ghost tonight.